Every two seconds, a person is forced to flee. Every day, 44,400 more are driven from their homes. At the end of 2017, the total reached 68.5 million, a new record. Children, men and women escaping violence and persecution and searching for safety. These are lives, not numbers. The lives of people who pay the price of a world in conflict. 25.4 million refugees among them. Nearly three million more than in 2016. They have fled across borders, leaving their country behind. My maison was there, auprès de cette montagne-là. Ils sont tous brûlés. Jusqu'à auprès de cette montagne qui sont là-bas, là, il n'y a pas d'un personne. Ils sont tous partis à Congo. An additional 40 million are displaced inside their own country. Over two thirds of the world's refugees come from just five countries Syria, Afghanistan, South Sudan. Myanmar, Somalia. Some of these conflicts have dragged on for years. Others have flared recently with dramatic consequences. Last year, deadly violence in Myanmar triggered the exodus of nearly 700,000 Rohingyas who crossed into Bangladesh in just a few months. <laughs> Behind the numbers lie individual hopes and hardships, not just of the displaced, but also of those who host them. These Congolese children lost their parents in an attack and managed to flee. They walked for more than two weeks before Papa Jean and his wife, with ten children of their own, took them in. Madame est infirmière. Quand elle est sortie pour chercher un peu de nourriture pour la famille, elle a trouvé ses enfants là abandonnés à eux-mêmes. Par pitié, elle les a ramenés à l'Orgédino. Nous sommes habitués à héberger les enfants. On a continué avec les autres. C'est pourquoi ils sont là avec nous. Most displaced people live in or close to the world's conflict zones. So just a handful of countries host the largest refugee populations. Turkey. Pakistan. Uganda. Lebanon. Iran. With forced displacement at a record high for the fifth consecutive year, a new approach to aiding and protecting refugees is needed, now more than ever. United Nations member states have committed to work towards a global compact on refugees. The compact will come before the UN General Assembly this year. It is a vital way forward. It starts from a hard truth that refugee situations will exist as long as wars do, and that it may take years before refugees can safely return home. It calls for action from across the international community. And it allows us to harness ideas and innovations from new partners. From the development world to the private sector, who all become part of the solution. This approach prioritizes education for the millions of displaced children and work for their parents. Every day brings proof that their inclusion in host societies benefits all. How are you? That asylum is a critical solution which saves lives. And that the power of the human spirit can bridge cultural divides. One in every 110 people on Earth is now forcibly displaced. We know the only lasting solution for them is peace. But with solidarity, resilience, and ingenuity, we are building a better way forward, together. <laughs>